Hi, I'm Tom Mayanek, host of The Sport Market. The Grey Cup's place on the pecking order of biggest sports shows of the year on Canadian television has been under siege these past two years. What with Vancouver 2010 dominating two years ago and the seven-game Stanley Cup final between the Boston Bruins and the Vancouver Canucks setting records for Hockey Night in Canada on the CBC earlier this year. It is now the second biggest football game of the year on Canadian television, with Super Bowl 44 marking the first time the NFL's marquee match outdid the Grey Cup in the domestic ratings game, and Super Bowl 45 between Green Bay and Pittsburgh earlier this year, setting a new benchmark on both sides of the border. The Canadian TV ratings for the 99th Grey Cup on TSN and RDS will have to settle for a ranking behind Super Bowl 45, which drew 7.3 million in Canada in February, and the Boston-Vancouver Stanley Cup, which averaged close to 6 million and scored 8.96 million for Game 7. It'll be hard-pressed to reach the 6 million that TSN and RDS did in the record-setting Grey Cup of 2009 and their strong follow-up in 2010, both of which drew more than 6 million Canadian viewers in English and French. The BC Lions-Winnipeg Blue Bombers matchup will be hard-pressed to do that because it won't play as well from coast to coast in both languages as Montreal and Saskatchewan did each of the past two years, with about a million tuning in on RDS French alone to watch the Alouettes win back-to-back -back Grey Cup titles. Yet despite the emergence of the Super Bowl on Canadian television and the impact of hockey at Vancouver 2010 and in this year's Stanley Cup Finals, the Grey Cup is still the country's largest single-day sports event held on Canadian soil. It still has a history and tradition of almost 100 years behind it. It still serves as a cultural and heritage focal point for both core fans and casual fans like no other annual sports event in Canada. It is no longer the number one event in Canadian television numbers, but it still holds that number one ranking in the hearts and minds of at least five million sports fans across the country every year. And that's something for an event that will be celebrating its 100th anniversary next year in Toronto to be very proud of.